Well, another day, another drug failure for treating Alzheimer's. GLP-1 medications like semaglutide, best known for weight loss and treating diabetes, they've been studied for something entirely different. Could they slow or even reverse Alzheimer's disease? A major clinical trial they were doing testing oral semaglutide in early Alzheimer's disease failed to show any meaningful benefit on cognition or daily functioning. In other words, the drug did not work to slow the progression of Alzheimer's symptoms. Are metabolic improvements from medications alone not enough? Weight loss and glucose control may support many aspects of brain health, but that doesn't necessarily fix some of the deeper problems like damaged neurons with impaired glucose uptake and mitochondrial dysfunction, which can all lead to reduced brain energy supply. Maybe the brain experiencing dementia needs an alternative fuel source. The brain becomes less able to use glucose for energy, sometimes even decades before symptoms start. Even in those conditions, the brain can still use ketones extremely well. That's the alternative fuel source. Early studies studies suggest that nutritional ketosis may improve cognitive function, improve energy metabolism, better memory scores, improved attention and processing, reduce brain inflammatory markers, and daily functioning in people with cognitive impairment or early Alzheimer's. If the brain can't use glucose well, give it another fuel, and ketones can provide exactly that.